Hello everybody. How are you this evening? It's me, Jennifer from Little Metal Foxes. And I just wanted to say, hope you're having a great May 4th. It is my sister's birthday. So shout out to my sister, Leslie. Happy birthday. Yay. And um, we're going to be doing a little tool talk about the flex shaft handles tonight. I'm going to be joined by, hi Chris. We're going to be joined by, um, uh, in just a second, by my Wookiee here. Uh, where are you, Wookiee? Come here. Simon. <laughs> He's dressed as a Wookiee today. He likes to play. Um, but we're also going to be joined by Helen, and uh, if she tunes in here in just a second, we'll add her and we'll start talking about flex shafts. Okay, so um, there we go. Let's see if we can get her in here. Um, yeah, so the flex shaft handles are awesome, and there's lots and lots and lots of them. Uh, a lot of times it can be a little overwhelming if you don't know what they do and where they come from and why you need them and what they're for. So let's see, there she is. Let's do, uh, there we go, go live with Helen. Hello. Where are you? She's joining me live. Here she comes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Hi. Hello. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> oh my God. I just recognized your hair. You're so funny. <laughs> so you are so crappy. Yes. So I was just saying, just saying I was joined by my Wookiee, Simon. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. So, um, so I just wanted to say hi, everybody. Oh, may the fourth be with you, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> for her. Um, yes. Oh, well, thank you. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, uh, yes, it is uh, my Star Wars celebration day because it is May fourth, which is Star Wars Day. Um, but I thought it was a great chance to talk about our lightsabers, aka flex shaft handles, <laughs> which are just about as useful if you cut through many things. Yes. Let me so, go grab mine too. Go grab yours. Let's talk about flex shaft handles. Yay. I actually had another one. But I don't know where that one. I had the, the, the quick switch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I don't I didn't really like it as much, so I don't know if I just shoved it in a corner. <laughs> oh. Well but I yeah. have my regular one. Yeah, so let's talk about this one because this is the number 30 hand piece that comes with most flex shafts when you buy them. Um, yep, number 30. There it is. And the number 30 hand piece just pops on and off. We love this. Yep, there it is right on the handle, number 30. Um, and these are really kind of nice. They're self-lubricated or already pre-lubricated, so you don't have to, like, worry about lubricating them and, and taking them apart or anything like that. In fact, you really don't want to take them apart. Um, so the uh, thing is, always make sure when you're working with a flex shaft handle that you have your hair up. Yes. And a, and a fancy do uh, for the day, just for the day. And um, the other thing is, um, you know, one of the things that I really like about my flex shaft handle is I got a key like this that has the handle on it. And I got to tell you, this makes all the difference in the world when you're trying to tighten it. Because when you're trying to tighten it with that tiny little key, the little check key, it's hard to do unless it has a handle. And I drilled a hole in mine. And added a little leather straw. No, I need so, to do that with mine because I'm always putting it somewhere on my desk. Right. And then I immediately lose it. Yep. <laughs> so I have a, I have actually either have this on my bench pin hook or I have it on a cup hook right next to my bench. So I always have it. And the thing I like about this one is it's bright a blue. So I can yes. see it because nothing else in my studio is this color. So I know I that, mine. <laughs> that that's what it is. Yeah. So, um, but that's one of my favorite tips about about that. Um, the other thing is, if you've got, if you're debating, you know, hand pieces and you're just now getting a flex shaft, get the number 30 hand piece because it is the most versatile hand piece with all of the flex shaft handles, that, or all the flex shaft motors that you can use. You can drill with it, polish with it, grind with it, sand with it. You can turn it into a lot of different things, twist wire with it. There's so many things you can do. So, you can go from teeny tiny, and I mean teeny tiny drill bit, yeah, to whatever the max size this goes out to. I mean, right. it, the, the size variation is incredible. Right. 
it's it does it close down the closest and open almost the widest um, of any of the flex shaft handles. So this one is seriously the most versatile handle that you can use. Um, it works on the forward and reverse modes, and it is awesome. So if you've got um, a little flex shaft handle like this, it's a good one. And you know it does everything but shoot light out the end. Yep. Um, so we can like, yeah, you and I can have a, a <laughs> Jedi fight. Uh, but um, I, I really do <laughs> like this handle. Um, one of the other handles that I like a lot, and there are lots of other rotary handles. There's the quick change handle. And the, the nice thing is, and I like that as a secondary handle. And if you're doing a lot of stone setting, if you're doing a lot of drilling and um, and you're doing a lot of production stuff. The quick change handle is nice because you can flip it, pop out your chuck or pop out your bit, pop in a new one really quickly. And it saves you some time. You know, it's going to lock down tight. You don't have to, you know, fiddle around with, you know, you know, tightening it down, tightening it and tightening it and worrying about it slipping. It just is, you know, on, off, on, off. The problem is the con <laughs> and all of that is that it is, um, uh, it's a standard size. So it's like, a, like, what is it? A one eighth or a three thirty second or something. So it's, you know, just one size. So you have to either get an adapter if you want to use it for multiple things or um, get all of your shanks exactly the same size. So there's certain drill bits and uh, certain tools that fit in the quick change uh, handle that don't fit in, you know, any well, that fit in the other one fine, but it fits in that one and nothing else will. So it's basically one size shank and that's it. Yeah. So that can be a bit of a drawback for people who are like, I really want to have like, want it to twist wire. I want it to do all this. And it doesn't do that. So, um, but, and there are lots of variations and different kinds of quick change release handles that are awesome. And there are all kinds of, you know, other other ones that are awesome. Um, one of the ones that we have at work is the 44T. Now, the 44T handle, I'm going to show you a picture of it because it's awesome. Um, one of the ones that I use at uh, Baleen, in fact, oops, where is it? Today's pictures. And, oh, here we go. So the 44T, oops, is, oh, get it up here. There we go. <laughs> is, um, it's like this. And the cool thing about this one is that it has, it comes with two different collets that you can change and which oh. are relatively large. And this thing is a real powerhouse and you can use it with some of the bigger, uh, um, more powerful motors because it is uh, designed to be able to do things like with this one, I've got the, um, the flex shaft spindle in that. So you can actually put, um, uh, things like your mops for polishing, like the polishing, big polishing wheels. And oh. this guy can handle that. So you can put in things like spindles and bigger drill wow. bits into that. Wow. So it will actually hold on to bigger stuff, but it's got two collets that will hold different sized, heavier shanks. Like nice. the, um, I think it's maybe a, a quarter and a three eighths that it holds um, potentially. <laughs> You'd have to check that out for sure. I may be completely wrong. But um, <laughs> the nice thing is that it does, we use it for, with our larger motors, with the LX and the TX uh, motors for the flex shaft, because it, it has a little more, um, uh, a bigger shank holder, basically. Yeah. So um, you're not relying on like something that's really small, like the quick change handle or something with a you know, three jaw chuck, which can only open so wide. So it's bigger than this one. Mm -hmm. actually goes larger than this handle so if you need you know a really heavy duty lightsaber it's your um kylo ren <laughs> version <laughs> <laughs> um the other thing that i really like for my flex shaft handles is the hammer hand piece yeah yes because the yep yeah, oh yep see now yours is the one that's just the hammer hand piece mine has the duplex spring right yep. So the duplex spring is really nice if you want to be able to do, to sort of take the weight off of your hands while you're trying to work with more delicate stuff. So you could actually add a duplex spring separately to just about oh. all of the hand pieces, including the nice. one you've got. Okay. And in Good fact, um, according to Lion Punch Forge, Chris, 
Anderson, which is, he's on there somewhere. Um, and Chris actually has, I think, this one. But when he was talking to Fordham about that, uh, Fordham actually recommends buying them separately. Because if your hammer hand piece is going to break, <laughs> the thing that, that's going to go is usually the spring. I've had this one for a very long time, and I've never had any problems with the duplex spring. Um, but if you're, you know, cranking it around, it can be, it potentially, you know, you can break it. So the yeah. nice thing is if it breaks, if you've got a separate one, it's easy to replace rather than trying to replace the whole thing or send it back for repair. Yeah, because I was debating when I got mine for my Lion Punch Forge whether to get that or this one. And I right. said, well, let me try this one first. Right. And that one's great. And um, what Helen's talking about, those of you out there, is the Lion Punch Forge Graver Adapter, which works with the hammer hand piece. So you can actually turn this into a graver and um, or an engraving tool. So um, what? Helen has it right there. So yes. Thank you, Chris, from Lion Punch Forge. Yeah. So we are actually doing our, um, we've done a couple of classes with the Lion Punch Forge Graver and Chris Anderson from Lion Punch Forge. Um, and we're doing a, a texturing uh, tool or texturing with the Lion Punch Forge adapter as well. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, Chris and I are co-teaching it. So we're all excited wow. about that. That's going to be so much fun. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely going to pop in for a little bit or at least video on that class because you guys are hilarious together. I know. Um, I love teaching with Chris. He's a, he's a lot of fun. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, so um, Chris, if you're out there, yay, a uh, shout out uh, to Lion Punch Forge, and we will see you on Saturday for that. He's also going to be teaching a tool making class coming up this summer um, that we're real excited about. Uh, and, um, but yeah, so this you can get with or without the duplex spring. Um, you can use it with the ha hammer hand piece or with the graver in the hammer hand piece. So you can turn your hand pieces into belt sanders. You can turn them into wire twisting tools. You can turn them into engravers, drills, try riveting. polishers, riveting. Yes. And, and it's just, there's so many things you can do with your hammer hand piece or with the, the flex, the flex shaft hand piece. But I would always recommend if you are just getting one, start with the number 30 because it totally is the most versatile of all the handles that you can use. It's, you know, they are uh, next to impossible to destroy. And I love mine. And um, <laughs> I've got one on my, uh, on both of mine. And they just pop on. They have like a little snap button there. And it has a keyway on the inside, a little key on the end. Yeah, you do them... not want to undo that. Don't ignore no. the Yes. Ignore it. That's a tension <laughs> button, basically. Don't you just put your thumbs together like that and, and you go pop Ooh. it off. Yep. Yeah. And I, oh, I first yeah. was like, that's got to be the way to take it off. And then I'm like fiddling and fiddling. And then I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, yeah. I had somebody uh, that was trying to show somebody how to do it. And they were like, you push down on the silver button. And I'm like, that's the ball that's holding it in place. <laughs> so if you're pushing down, you're never going to be able to get it off. So just put your thumbs together and like pull, Boop. and yeah. that's, that'll take it apart. And it's not, you um, don't need to pull hard. Yeah. No, no, it just pops right off. The other thing I would definitely recommend, and this is one of my favorite things too, is an earplug. Ugh. But <laughs> yeah. I to keep always, it clean. Yep. I always put uh, little earplugs in, little silicone earplugs in the end of my uh, handles when I'm not using them, just to make sure that they don't get any dust and or hi there there's jason hi kyle and uh and oh let's see who else is out there oh luna soul joined hello um so um but yeah this is a way that you can uh totally keep it clean keep any grit from getting inside there and um and that's just a real simple you know tip for you know you know good bench keeping things um otherwise i always keep it in its little lightsaber case there we go Ta -da! um so that helps it you know, stay nice and clean as well. Now, oh, one of the things that's important to know about the um, the quick change handles is the um, uh, the snout on it, the little grippers, um, the collet. You have to have a pin in there when you're not using it. So there has to be something in the chuck when it's not in use oh. because the chucks can come loose. So you always want to have something uh, in there to be sure you've got that from slipping on you, right? Okay. Right. Good to know. Yeah. I didn't know. That. It's true. Yeah. 
So, because the collet can, you know, come loose and move around if you don't have something secured in there. So yeah, always store that with something in it, right? Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, Noted. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so chuck keys, uh, earplugs in the end, um, get your flex shaft uh, duplex spring. I love the duplex spring. Um, and uh, <laughs> because it really does take a lot of the weight off your wrist. Um, the other thing for the flex shaft handle that's great if you're working and to prevent a lot of wrist wear and tear is the holder. So if you don't have a holder for your flex I shaft. I love that. It's like the best purchase of I the know. flex right? shaft stuff that I've made. I know. I can so, pop it in there and treat it like a little polishing wheel or sanding yep. wheel or sanding belt. Yeah. Yes. When I'm finishing like hundreds of wires for earrings, oh my God. this, I, you know, sitting there and going, uh, 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 oh, <laughs> hundreds a day. I did a couple hundred earrings today. So, you know, this guy holds this still, my flex shaft in here, like that. And I just tighten it down on my bench pin and put my cupbers in here or put my belt sanding attachment on there or put, you know, whatever, you know, little buffing wheel you want on here. And this just holds it steady. And it basically you can use it as a lathe. You can use it, you know, just in a secure way so that your wrist isn't, doesn't get tired from holding tools and doing this all day. So it can be really hard on your wrist after a while. So this is about a $45 purchase from any of the jewelry supply places. And, but you know, the nice adjustable here, and the cool thing is you can adjust the height. So whatever yeah. height you're working at, this becomes really handy. So I highly recommend the holding device. But those are my tips for the flex shaft handles. Or as I'm referring to them today, lightsaber handles. <laughs> so yeah. So hello. I know. Too bad we can't attach a light to them and you know, can oh, actually know. have a sword fight. You could. How could I do that? Light a glow stick. Put your glow stick. Glow stick yeah. <laughs> Put your glow stick yep, in your you handle. Yeah. That would Those be nice, hilarious. The nice long ones, you know, that are <laughs> you rave at the, the jewelry studio. But Helen, I'm very excited that we've got Jan Smith. We do. And I created the classes today. So as soon as we get all the tiny details sorted out, which will be probably this week. At least the first class will be ready this week. The second class will be ready very, very soon. We're just waiting on the supply, the official supply list. And right. I was, I, this is our, see our planning list? This is our planning list. Those are all we the classes have, coming up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have, so Jan is going to be teaching a uh, enameling prep class. So it's going to be tools, setup, and safety for enameling. And she's, oh my God, she is, she's been doing this for years and she she's in so Canada. Good. Yeah, she's and so I left, good. I left all her Canadian spelling. So um, <laughs> if you see that enameling is spelled with two L's, that's because it's Canadian. Yeah. Um, we international but, now. Yay. <laughs> um, but, oh my God, you, you guys are going, you need to, if you're interested in enameling, you need to take this class. She is so wonderful. Yeah. He's just, I mean. Well, um, for, I, for two reasons. If, you've, if yeah. you are taking, if you are, have been taking enameling and you want to get your studio set up and you're not sure what to do and you want to work safely in your own studio, she's going to give you like the safety stuff, what you need to buy, what kind of ventilation you need to have. And so for, um, for enameling, she is amazing. And um, so, yay. I mean, she's, she's brilliant. And then she's going to be teaching a two weekend intro to enameling with stencils and mark making so that's going to be yeah. off the hook it's going to sell four, out quick four sessions two week yep saturday sunday yep. and that's going to be bah, 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 uh, june 12th to the 20th so just the right. two the two weekends right. and oh my god oh my god Yes, we are so, 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 so happy. Yeah, that and hopefully we'll have her teaching uh, some other classes. She's actually yeah. doing a, um, a talk and class for the Enamelist Society, uh, which is a their, their big um, symposium that's coming up this summer. She's going to be doing 
a workshop for them. So we're really, really lucky to have her. Um, yeah. I'm, and she may be teaching at a few other places as well over the summer. But yeah, uh, very happy to have Jan. Um, Chris is going to be teaching a, a tool making class. Hi, Chris. Hello. Um, and oh, Helen, keep your eye out for a package from Lion Punch Forge. What could it be? We might have to do. Know. We might have to do an unboxing. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you know how we like to do unboxings on Thursdays. Oh, yes, so. we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're out there and you would like us to do an unboxing of a tool or something that um, you've got that you want to share with us, um, you can check out our website and uh, the uh, address is there. We're always happy to do unboxings of tools or equipment or um, cool little doodads that are just helpful in the studio or if you've got something like mm, liberate ladder God, this smells so good I, I, just, I, I love keeping it in my studio um but uh but yeah you know let us let us share some uh shout outs for you if you want to um share yeah. some tools or something so always happy to do that yeah. and talk about those um well, we, we love yeah. helping you know spreading the word out for other artists and you know yeah let us absolutely. know we'll, you'll because it's, it's all, it, we all understand how tough it is. Yeah. Yeah. To get the word out. Yeah. So, so yes. Helping hand. Shout out across the galaxy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so um, let's see, what else is coming up? What are the, we've got, um, I'm going to be getting have, articulation and there's kombu coming up. Yeah. We have an adding gold series, which are going to be individual classes that you can mix and match as you need. So we're going to do a gold fill. Um, we have granulation that's on the cusp of being ready. Right. There, there will be two classes of granulation. Um, we're going to be doing a, a kimbu. We're going to do some inlay and, and overlay. Overlay. Mm -hmm. um, is that? Did I get that right? Is it inlay? We're doing it's that. Sol we're, we're doing, doing solder overlay. inlay. Yeah, solder okay. inlay. Yeah. So it's um, uh, a different kind of like marriage of metals in a way that you can add uh, bimetal. Uh, look to the metal so you can add using um, gold solder or silver solder on a different metal and make it pop so nice. yeah so we're gonna be doing and then that we're gonna um, have two uh, thing classes by Julia that are gonna be four session classes lockets and boxes two different yes. things and uh, to lead up oh. to that we're gonna do some rolling mill right and, and we're gonna do some etching in a bag etching in a bag what? And if you want, you can do, well, you can consider doing the, the Lion Forge texture, Lion Punch Forge, I'm sorry, I'm slaughtering it, Lion Punch Forge texturing class that we have this weekend, plus the Burrs Demystified, which I think, did we sell? I, it's oh, getting close. close. It's getting close, so yeah. All of those can be used for, for texturing, yep. you know, so that when you do your box, you can have, this doesn't have to be a plain box, but it can be yeah, pretty decorated. decorated. Yeah. yeah. Surface texture is always good when you're talking about making boxes and articulation. And lockets. You can use that for and articulation, yeah. All mm -hmm. those things. So those are all leading up to the boxes and lockets classes along with the some of the gold oh. classes. The add, add and, on gold. And oh. snake skin pattern. Oh, the snake skin pattern. Yeah. So well, that's, that's gonna be in the work. It's on the, the planned class, not on the, the actual schedule class. But right. we're working on it. Yeah, should be very so, snake, so snake skin patterns um, include um, uh, it's a snake skin pattern uh, that you turn into sheet, but you're using wires uh, to create sheet <laughs> with pattern. So there are some really cool patterns that you can create with wire that create sheet, um, which nice. is almost like marquetry. You know, it looks like inlay or oh, I know or what you're talking about. And yeah, oh, but I'm it, wondering how you're going to do that. Oh, yeah. oh, that's so exciting. Done. It's really cool. It's done with like twisted wire and then it's joined with other wires mm -hmm. and then you roll it out or hammer it out and oh it becomes like, yeah, really I mean, good patterns. Fun. Yeah. It's so it's like, um, it's almost, it's like marriage of metal and, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like mocha may wire. Oof. And then you kind of like have to line it up in a certain way and twist stuff in a certain way to create a, like a snake backbone. And, uh, but yeah, looks very rattlesnakey when you get it done. So that's going to be coming up in uh, June right? Yes, yes, I think. Is that what you said? Yes. No, July. Oh, July. 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 I'm yes. reading my notes. July. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, so that's <laughs> coming out. Oh, the Lion Punch Forge, thanks, Chris, is sold out. Oh, there you hey. go. thank you, everybody. Yeah. 
So um, yeah, we'll be uh, looking forward to that. My husband's we'll bringing me dinner. <laughs> we'll be we'll be doing another um, we'll be doing another uh, Lion Punch Forge Graver Adapter class probably later in the summer. Yeah. Um, probably the late July, early maybe in August probably. So yeah, keep your eyes open for that. So we've got lots on the schedule between now and then. The stuff that's coming up and getting added as quick as we can. Um, trying to get our uh, new instructors added as quick as we can. So we've got like AJ Power, who's doing some of the drawing classes. Chris, who's going to be doing some of the tool making classes. Chris Anderson from Lion Punch Forge. And um, Jan Smith is going to be doing some enameling classes. So stay tuned for those. Um, and, and like I said earlier, happy birthday to my sister who is uh, happy birthday on Star Wars Hi. Day. And, um, but yes, um, may, the, may the fourth be with you. And happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> may the fourth be with you. Yeah.